Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield initially met on the set of Dancing on Ice three years before joining forces on This Morning in 2009. Earlier this year, Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby's friendship was thrown into doubt after the father of two admitted to having an affair with a younger male This Morning colleague. This led to Philip cutting all ties with ITV and he announced he would be leaving This Morning and Dancing on Ice. At the time, the former presenter admitted to lying to his best friend Holly and to everyone at ITV about the affair. Holly remained silent for quite some time about Philip, but finally broke her silence following his sudden exit from this morning. It is unclear whether the pair have been in contact since, but Holly said she felt hurt by her former co-star's lie. Inside Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield's friendship, after meeting on Dancing on Ice, Holly and Philip went on to present This Morning together in 2009 and became great friends both on and off screen until Philip left his role earlier this year. The presenters would often spend time together outside of work and Philip described Holly as his rock when he came out. As gay live on this morning, however, following Philip's admission regarding his affair, the pair seemed to have drifted apart and it was reported they were no longer speaking. When Holly returned to her role, she addressed Philip's departure telling viewers it would be strange without him by her side, she began, right, deep breath. Firstly, are you okay? I hope so. It feels very strange indeed sitting here without Phil and I imagine you may be feeling a lot like I have, shaken, troubled, let down, worried for the well-being of people on all sides of what's been going on and full of questions. You, me, all of us at this morning, gave our love and support to someone who was not telling the truth, who acted in a way that they themselves felt they had to resign from ITV and step down. And it's equally hard to see the toll it has taken on their own mental health. It is unclear whether Holly and Philip have been in contact since he left this morning but it was reported in June the pair are not on talking terms after Philip issued an apology to his pal, I've lost my best friend. I let her down, Holly. I let that entire show down. I let the viewers down, Philip shared, Holly did not know, about the romance. And she was one of the first texts that I sent to say, I am so, so sorry that I lied to you. The 61-year-old explained his former co-star never replied to his texts, but insisted Holly knew nothing about the affair. I had no feud with Holly, he continued. She is my TV sister. But quite rightly, when I am in the middle of a ST show with bad press over something where I have done nothing wrong, in fact, I did everything right, it's a witch hunt. When asked whether they spoke privately about it, Philip continued, I utterly adore Holly but we didn't talk about this. I love Holly and I get it. That was a shock, to read. I texted her and said, have you heard about this? And she said, yeah, I think the story's been killed, I think it's gone, it's not going to run. But it did, the next day, the last time we had a conversation was when I texted Holly and said, don't reply, this was after the statement last week, defending this morning from accusations of toxicity, don't reply. You're probably not allowed to. But I am deeply, deeply sorry that I lied to you. Since his exit, Philip has kept a low profile and has not been very active on social media, last month. He was spotted for the first time in months with this morning guest star Vanessa Feltz. The new pictures mark the first time Philip has been seen with a colleague since he stepped down in May. The 61-year-old pecked his former co-star on the cheek before they enjoyed a meal out at Chiswick's Little Bird together.